the, the little computer I developed was called Venus, and then we developed the Venus operating system. And there I had also a couple of people working as programmers. And uh, you know, so we figured out, I, I did most of the design, and, um, and we figured, you know, figured out how to implement this thing. And um, it was an interesting little system. And the idea that I had in Venus was that, um, I mean, to understand the background at this time, you have to understand that there was, there was that algo school of programming, which had a good idea and a bad idea. The good idea was that you had blocks, and an inner block had private data, and the outer block couldn't access it. The bad idea was you had blocks, <laughs> and the inner block could freely access all the stuff in the outer block. And so there was a natural tendency to communicate through global variables. And, and that was not such a great idea. And some of Parnas' papers talked a bit about why that was a bad idea. Although I would not say that in general it was understood uh, that this was a, particular, you know, a bad idea. Uh, but at any rate, somehow I, I understood this wasn't a great idea. And I think it has to do with if you have lots of people working on different pieces of the system and they all can freely communicate through this set of global variables, you can have a big mess on your hands. And maybe I saw a mess like that in the Harvard stuff. I'm really not sure where it came from. But I decided that we were not going to have shared global variables in developing the Venus system. Instead, we were just going to break up the global variable space into what I called partitions. And each partition would be in, in the charge of a particular program module. And that module would be the only place you could access that data. And since other parts of the program had to use it, that module would provide procedures that that other part of the program could call. And that's the methodology we use, and it worked out extremely well.